Hello guys, welcome to Linux Automations and in this today's video we are going to talk about how do we create an image template under Google Cloud Platform. So this is something like creating a machine image in Amazon so uh, to customize your requirement. So here I am going to uh, pick a virtual machine which is a Linux OS and customize it and already have a virtual machine so which I launched using the uh, image which is coming by default so I am just logged into that particular machine and here I would like to um, disable or uh, do a couple of things and the OS I am using is CentOS 7.3 and if I see the SC status so it is in enforcing mode I would like to disable it and IP tables are uh, running you can see it over here so I would like to disable do these two things in my image and whatever the image I would like to run I would like to run without these two things so I'm just trying to disable those things in my server so whatever the server I launched it and disabling the firewall and then I would like to go with enabling uh, like uh, TCP keep keep alive so basically just to ensure my um, my session will not be disconnected frequently so I'm just keep enabling that and also I'm going to reduce the time interval for frequent of checking that and to a very less 20 seconds so that my server will not be frequently removed and also I'm installing like couple of basic packages like EPL release and also uh, like kernet tools I mean zip and unzip and vim editor so which are my basic packages which I require all the time so I'm just going with them so so these are installed fine so let me reboot the machine to uh, I mean to disable the SE Linux so once after the reboot our SE Linux should be disabled and firewall should be disabled So it just take a couple of seconds and let me try to connect back to the machine. So my machine is up. So let me log in and check what is the SE Linux status. So it is still running. So there might be some issue from the configuration. So uh, let me open the configuration file. So there you go. So I can I just mentioned a spelling mistake. So that's the reason it's. So let me put it as a disabled as correct word. Yeah, done. And let me reboot it again. So you can see that the SC status is showing that mode from configuration file is clearly error because that is due to spell mistake. Yes, machine is up back again. So you can see SC status. Yes, it is disabled now. And let me also check the firewall. So IP tables hyphen capital L. So that also, yes, all are under accept mode and no more rules. So this is fine. And let me go back to the Google platform console and so creating an image is not a straightforward thing so here it is um, uh, an indirect method so firstly you have to create a snapshot of your uh, virtual machine and from the snapshot you have to create a disk and from there you can create an image so let me create a snapshot with the name template and i have only one disk so let me create the template So once after you have the template, so you are going to clone this, uh, you are going to create a new disk from the template. So which obviously you are going to clone the disk, which is an existing VM. So yes, your template is done and you can go to the disks. So 
that is already showing one disk which is allocated to the virtual machine but I'm going to create a new disk so I'll let me name it as uh, template or template for CentOS and then um, just go with the snapshot option so where you want to create that is snapshot source is our snapshot and the size is it is picking the same size if you want you can increase that even so and our disk is going to be ready so using this particular disk I'm going to create my own image so how do I create the images so just go to the images and click on create image so it is showing all the images which are already available but I would like to go and create my own image so click on create image and then provide the image name so let me put it as my CentOS image or my CentOS 7 image and so a couple of things are optional like family description everything I don't want to provide all those things but disk yes I would like to show the disk it is showing my template cloned disk yes I'm clicking on that and my image is ready so you can see here so my CentOS 7 image I can go and create my own virtual machine new virtual machines using my own image so just click on create image uh, create instance and then you provide the instance one instance name so but okay so you need to change the uh, OA but you'll not find it over here on the OS images you have to go to custom images and then uh, it shows your image so you select select that particular image and then click on select so that's all and it launches a new VM with the image whatever you have created so this particular VM is going to get a C Linux disabled firewall disabled everything so let me verify that so let's log into the machine so you're just logging into the machine yes this is up and uh, let me log in as a, a root user firstly so sc status i can uh, see it has disabled and ip tables hyphen l so you can see that okay it's disabled that's all you created your own image and thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel thank you